Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. It's Lindsay Marie. It is the day before Thanksgiving. Holy cow, I am ready to eat some turkey. I am ready for the mashed potatoes. Bring on the dressing, the cranberry sauce. I am ready for it. I hope you are too and that you're having a great day so far. I wanted to give a quick review today on a product that has been going crazy online. Like everywhere you look on YouTube and vlogs and any beauty community, um, they're all talking about this foundation. Right here from J Cat Beauty, it is the Aqua Assurance powder foundation. And I love powder foundations simply because I feel like they're quick, they're easy, and mama is all about getting out the door and getting moving in the mornings these days. Like, I used to spend so much time on my makeup, y'all. It was ridiculous. I would wake up like two hours ahead of time just to get my face on and get ready. Well, now that I have a kid, my son is five, I'm trying to get him ready for school. I'm trying to get me ready for work. I'm trying to get everybody out the door in the mornings and it's just you know it's too time consuming to do a full face of makeup so i like quick easy kind of no makeup makeup these days and i do like a great base of course just like the next gal i like the coverage i like having a beautiful canvas and i'm really liking so far this compact foundation from jcat beauty you can get this online they are online they're based out of los angeles they are cruelty free which is great if you are um you know looking for brands that don't do animal testing they're cruelty free but when you order the foundation online their website is jcatbeauty.com um this foundation retails for $13.99, and when you get it in the mail, it comes with this little pamphlet right here on the foundation, and it shows the shades and everything, and it talks about some of the ingredients. And let's talk about some of the claims that the foundation makes, first of all. First of all, it is finely milled. They say that it's luxuriously silky on the skin, that it minimizes the appearance of your pores, which... Holla if you want that because I definitely have some pores that are through this area. I am pretty much um, a true combination skin. I get pores through the T-zone, cheeks, nose, chin. So minimization of pores gets a thumbs up from me on this. They also claim that it absorbs and balances excess oil. So if you are somebody who tends to be more on the oily side, they say this would be a good foundation for you. They say it doesn't crease. It never looks cakey. Um, they say it's got an innovative technology that is in the powder to lock water and moisture within the powder onto your skin. I get kind of confused with that part. That one kind of throws me off a little bit, but um, it's supposed to help maintain your skin's moisture levels throughout the day. So that sounds good as well. They say it provides medium to full coverage and then it can be applied damp or dry. So you can use the sponge that is included to either do it dry or wet for fuller coverage. Um, some of the ingredients in here, they say um, that are really good for the skin and nourishing for the skin. Cactus flower extract, which is an antioxidant. It helps to maintain moisture in the skin there again. It also has chamomile in it, which is anti-inflammatory for your skin and helps to calm it. And it's got, chl I never say this right, chlorella, chlorella, I think it's chlorella, which is, um, an ingredient that helps the skin to produce collagen and helps tone and firm the skin as well. So I'm all about that. Also, make me have some more collagen going on at 34 years old. Yes, yes, and yes. That sounds really good too. Now, I will say this does not come in a very extensive shade range. They've got the color swatches right here. There's only eight different shades, and you know there's been a lot of controversy out lately about brands not being inclusive with their shade range. I'm not going to get into all that because we're here to talk about how the product performs, but um, the shade range is pretty limited. I did get two different colors when I ordered this because I wasn't sure if I would be more of the ivory shade or the natural shade. Um, ivory being the lightest color in the range, and then the natural is a step up from ivory. I'll show you what the ivory looks like right here. And this one is actually wearable for me, but it is a little bit too light, just a hint too light on my skin. And then the natural, it is right here. I'll show you this one as well. You can see it's a shade darker. It's almost too dark for me, but there again, it's still wearable. I can wear both of these. I'm kind of in between them. If there was a shade in between, it would be my perfect match probably. So either of these is doable for me, but I tend to wear the natural. Now I wanna show you how I apply it. 
light powder foundations there again because they're quick and easy. And this one um, comes with a sponge right here. However, I prefer to use my flock sponge from Jane Iredell. I just use all my powder foundations with this sponge. I just like it the best. So I'm going to apply with that. I have already um, done my eyes. I have concealed them with the Born This Way concealer right here. And I have set them as well with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder under my eyes. So my eyes are already concealed. Dark circles, girlfriend, let me tell you. They are genetic. My mama gave them to me. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Thank you, mom, really. And um, anything I do to try to get them to go away, they're still there. I've had them forever. So always conceal them first. And then I'm going to go in with the foundation. I'm going to do it dry. Just a swipe on here. Wow. Can you see that? Like, look at that coverage. Holy moly. Oh, wow. That's crazy. And you can see it's a pretty good shade match for me. A little bit dark. Oh, excuse me, my nose. A little bit dark, but it's definitely wearable because the ivory is just really a shade too light for me almost. Wow, that coverage is crazy. And this is dry. Like, imagine if I went in wet with this. Holy mackerel. My redness tends to be concentrated through these areas. Y'all liking this haircut of mine right now? My hair is so bad, y'all. I have not taking the time to do it yet this morning. It's growing out from my bob. So it's in this weird, like, funky in-between stage. I swear, growing your hair out is the biggest pain. Wow, this coverage is really good. You can see how it concealed that redness through there? That's crazy. I should note that I already cleansed, toned, serum, moisturized, sunscreen, all that before I did this foundation. My sunscreen being the last step in my routine, always. The esthetician in me will tell you sunscreen is so important, y'all, every day, at least SPF 30 or higher. You can see that. Wow, that coverage is crazy. The side that doesn't have anything, see all that redness through there I got going on? And the side with coverage, wow. And it's so smooth. Like, the way this glides on is crazy. Like, this just... It really melds into the skin. Yeah, it's just like going over it. Wow, it's crazy good. You can see that covered that redness up. Yeah, my nose over here. I know it's about Christmas time, but why am I already looking like Rudolph? Why is my nose so daggum red? What is going on with that? I swear on the days that my nose is like runny and allergies are acting up, my nose is more prone to be red, which drives me crazy because I pretty much have allergies all year long. There again, thanks genetics. <laughs> but now look at that. Like, now look at my nose. Isn't that crazy? And the thing that I like about this is that it's not looking cakey. Like, can you see on my face? And it doesn't really look powdery. Like once my natural oils come through, I feel like that any bit of powderiness that you might be seeing, look at that coverage, look at that. Holy mackerel. Any bit of powderiness that you might um, kind of be bothered with when you first put this on is going to meld away if you've got any bit of natural oils at all that come through throughout the day. And for me, I do definitely have some natural oils that will help to make this um, really just meld in with the skin. If you aren't someone who has particularly um, a lot of oil to come through the day, maybe you're more dry or maybe normal skinned, I think you could definitely still wear this as long as, long as you're more normal toward the more normal side. I think you could definitely still wear this. Hello. Oh, there's Barrett. <laughs> there he goes again. I swear he's my little... My little man getting so big. But um, I feel like you could just hit this with a setting spray and it would definitely soften up any harsh powderiness that you may be bothered with. Look at that. That's just one coat of this foundation, you guys. Isn't that crazy? That is like, wow. And if I wanted to, which I am going to do today because we have a play date fixing to happen, um, you could definitely just throw on some mascara really quick. <laughs> Throw on some lipstick, you know, lip gloss, a little bit of blush, and you would be out the door. Really liking this one from J Cat Beauty. 
can just see that coverage there again. Quick, easy, melts in with the skin. I really like this. And for $13.99, that's good, buddy. They saw you. They saw you, my little man. For um, $13.99, I feel like this is a really good steal. JCatBeauty.com has got it, you guys. I have worn this foundation. This is about my fifth time wearing it, I guess it would be. Um, <laughs> And throughout the day, it wears really well. There's not a lot of um, breaking. Well, there really is no breaking up. It just really melds in with the skin. I don't find that it, um, you know, sometimes your foundation will get like patchy in places where it's worn off around the nose or the chin or wherever it may be. I do not find that happens at all with this foundation. <laughs> And it's just, yeah, it's a really good one for $13.99. Go pick it up, jcatbeauty.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'll be back with more reviews and just a lot of good tutorials and, yeah, stuff for you guys. Whatever you want to see, drop me a comment and let me know, and I will get it done for you. Thank you so much. Hey, have a great Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoy time with your family, with your friends, lots of great food, and be safe and be blessed out there. I'm going to go spend some time with that little man now and get ready for our play date today. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.